see you got the Toyota with the belt squeal. I see you got the gate solutions kit to address the entire system. Yeah, and that's the key there, the entire system. This segment's gonna be on accessory belt drive systems. Think about it. This single belt has to drive all these components, everything from the power steering pump to an alternator. It may be driving air conditioning and a water pump. And I don't know what's worse during the hot summer in Florida, no air conditioning or no water pump. Yeah, I'd have to say a water pump, catastrophic engine failure. That's why it's so important that we address the entire system and not just the belt. So we can't just put some belt dressing on and ship it. No, that's not a good idea. We're gonna teach you how to do a pack test. We're gonna talk about the pulleys, the alignment of the pulleys and the tensioner. We're also gonna show you some gate solution kits that are gonna fix some problem cars and we're gonna throw one on this Toyota. We're also gonna take a trip and go meet Bobby Bassett. He's the training manager for the Gates Corporation and he's an expert when it comes to accessory belt drive systems. And that's what we're all about, fixing it right the first time, avoiding those comebacks. So let's get started. Before we start over on the Camry, we have to understand the function of the belts and we'll look at a little evolution of belts. Now the function of the belts and the sole purpose of the belt is to deliver torque through all the rest of the pulleys. It starts out here at the harmonic balancer and it sends torque through all your rest of your accessories. Evolution of belts, we started out with V-belts. V-belt drives went into a V-belt pulley. Then we went to the serpentine belts. This one here is a neoprene belt. Then we made it to the EPDM belts. And like he said, at the crankshaft is where we generate our torque to send the belt around the system. You might have to go through a tensioner, a power steering pump, a water pump, an alternator, and don't forget your AC compressor. Yeah, on this car we can see the AC compressor, the belt strings all the way over to the alternator, to the power steering pump, drives the water pump, and the torque get delivered here from the harmonic balance through the whole system. And now that you got the fundamentals on belt drive systems, let's head over to the Camry and put it to action. Well, now that we're over at the Camry, I actually found a TSB, a technical service bulletin, addressing a cold soak issue on this car. When you crank it up, you could have some cold start squeals. Now that's okay because Gates has a solution kit that's gonna address this issue. And before we install that kit, we wanna crank it up and get a good visual inspection of the complete system. All right. Everything seems to be in pretty good shape. Well, good. I went ahead and printed out from direct hit the instructions, so you take the belt off. All right. What he's actually looking for is any off alignment of that belt or the tensioner hammering, tracking, anything real obvious. So when you pull the belt off, you'll know where to address those issues. Now, Gates has a whole set of solution kits. So if you have an issue, they have the solution for it. We have one that we're gonna put on the Toyota Camry. This is from 2001 to 2004. It comes with the whole tensioner and a belt assembly, a one-to-one -one ratio. Make sure you change them both. Chrysler's very popular from 1993 to 2000. This one's a 3.0 to 3.8 liter. It comes with the whole tensioner. They have an actual technical service bulletin and it comes with an idler pulley. They have a slipping problem when you go through some mud and snow and this addresses that issue. Now Honda, 1.8 liter, four cylinder for 2006, had a few issues with quite possibly over tensioning. So what Gates did is they come up with a whole tensioner assembly and a bolt. That bolt's gonna stop from breaking and address that issue. A Couple of tech tips for you. If you think you have a squeal problem, you can use a spray bottle test, a water test, and this will help you isolate it. Just simply crank up the car, spray your belt down, if the squeal gets louder, it's most likely a tension issue. If the squeal goes away, you have an alignment issue. And we'll address that in a little while. How are we doing over there? Doing good, I got the belt removed, now we can go ahead and check it. Now that we got the belt off, we can go ahead and put this gate solutions kit on and address this problem once and for all. But not yet, we gotta do a pat test first. Pulley alignment tension test. Yeah, and that's important. We can come over to the demo and talk about a pulley alignment tension test. We're gonna deal with the pulleys. We wanna check them for debris. We wanna make sure that the ribs are all in good shape and everything's riding nice and smooth. Now, the alignment, a little more of an issue. We can use a straight edge, but that's not a good idea because a lot of times, some of the pulleys may have a bigger lip than other ones and also power steering pumps 
can be pushed on too much or not enough. So our best thing to do is use this tool that Gates come up with. It's a drive alignment laser. They also give you a pair of glasses in there because you're dealing with the laser light. You simply just come over, click it onto one of the pulleys, and when you click it onto one of the pulleys, you can shoot that laser down to the other pulleys in the system and you can make sure it's aligned and it's aligned perfectly. And then you want to check the tension. The tension is important. It's right here. Now it has two functions. The tension keeps tension on the belt and it also helps with oscillations. Every time that compressor comes on or even the engine fires, that belt's going to want to oscillate a little bit. Very important part of the system. Once again, we're addressing the whole accessory belt drive system and not just the belt. Now to look at these belts, earlier we talked about them. We go now with our newer belts, we're dealing with this EPDM material. A while back we had some neoprene belts, a little bit different. We would bend them and look at the cracks in that belt and we could take this belt gauge and just see three cracks within a three inch span. We can't do that anymore. The new EPDM belts are made of a different material and you might want to think of an analogy of a tire. As that tire starts to go low, the tire wears out, the belt's really not right in those grooves and you're creating a lot of heat and it's transferring into those bearings and doing damage. So we need to use this belt gauge. Gates will supply you with one of these belt gauges. What I have here is an old belt, an age belt, and a new belt. I simply come over to the old belt and I put the belt gauge in it and I can't feel anything protruding through the top. So what happened is that wore down like a tire in those grooves and that's it, it's creating a lot of heat. I can go over here and I can touch the belt and I can just barely feel the top of it and on the new belt I can feel it protruding out the top a lot and if you bend it you'll see there's absolutely no cracks in it. These belts can last up to 100,000 miles. Now Gates even has a pick app. This pick app, if you have an iPhone, you can download this app, draw a line on your belt, take a picture of the belt and this application will actually diagnose it for you. Very important to address the whole system. While Chase is back at the shop putting the solutions kit on the Toyota Camry, I told you earlier in the segment we were going to take a trip and visit the Gates Training Manager. I have with me Mr. Bobby Bassett. Hey John, how are you today? Thanks for having us. Good, good. You're the expert. Tell us a little bit about accessory belt drive systems. You know John, before we start get started, I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever heard a belt squeal? Absolutely. You know John, there's nothing wrong with the belt, but there is something wrong with the system because today this is truly a system and that problem is it's either from belt wear or from a failing tensioner and that's what I'd like to do is spend just a minute to talk about that today if possible. This is the system, it powers everything. The belt only has one job and that is to transfer the torque from the crank to all of, all of the accessory drive pulleys. It does that by a wedging force of the belt into the pulley grooves, that's called a, a pulley belt interface. That wedging force is created by the tensioner. So when a belt slips today, it's either through loss of belt wear uh, or from a failing tensioner. So let's spend just a minute and explore that if we could. I'd like to, I brought this example with me and I'd like to show this to you. This belt has over 114,000 miles on it, but yet it still looks brand new to the technician. The danger is that when the technician replaces an alternator or power steering or some other accessory, that when they look at the belt, they say, oh, that looks okay but in fact, it's totally been failed. And, what, and, and that's why Gates produced this little belt wear tool to help you use the visual you need today to tell if the belt's worn out. Remember, a belt transfers the force by wedging and by tension. So as the belt begins to slip, it creates a lot of noise. It also creates heat, and that heat goes right into the bearings, creating premature grease boil out of the accessory. Now, as the belt slips, we can also have false engine codes uh, or the check engine light may pop on. And it, if a technician finds that they can't get it turned off through their diagnostic process, it, may, it could be as simple as a slipping belt because you've got a crank sensor here that's feeling that belt slipped and it's not programmed to feel that. So looking at this system here, this belt again is totally worn out and I don't know if you guys can see it here or not, but we would use our belt wear tool to, to determine that. So as the belt, as this system begins to slip, all the accessories are not operating correctly. So we've got the air conditioning is not operating correctly, the power steering, the alternator and a variety of other things. So it's so important that we have the correct amount of tension on the belt today and to check our belt for belt wear. Right, and this tensioner here actually has a fault in it. If you look at this tension, and spin it, 
you can hear. You would never know that just by looking at That's it. That's true. That's true. In fact, let me show you the tensioner itself. This is a tensioner that I brought with me, and it's, it's an exploded tensioner, so I'm going to take the spring out of it. And inside a tensioner, uh, you'll find a damper. Now, a tensioner serves two purposes, John. It, it maintains the correct amount of tension on the belt at all times throughout its duty cycle, but also has a damper built into it. And this damper is a small piece that's connected to the spring that goes inside the case. So let me kind of explain this to you, and I'm going to lay it apart here. This case half is almost like a brake drum. The damper is almost like a brake shoe, so it goes in like that and it connects to the spring that connects to the arm. So the more tension I place on the arm, the more that this damper presses on the inside of that brake shoe. So if you ever see a tensioner come through your shop that has excessive arm motion, that means the damper has worn out. So that's it. When we talk about the system, the first part of the system that's so important is the tensioner. And the second part is to make sure it does not have belt wear. Once again, it's all about the tension. We saw it from an expert. We got the tensioner, the belt, all the pulleys. We can't just address the belt. We can't just address the tensioner. It's about the system. The first thing you have to do is remove the front wheel, a few mounts to access the tensioner, and so you can remove it. We're simply going to take the old tensioner off and replace the new one in the same order. And remember to always check the service manual on the car you're working on. All right, looks like you got it fixed. All we need to do now is crank it up, make sure everything's running fine, take it on a test drive. When you get back, make sure you recheck it one more time. Looks good. Now through this presentation, we address the whole accessory belt drive system. That's the important part. Remember, you're the accessory belt drive system expert. So it's up to you with using these gate solutions and these quality parts to fix the car right the first time. Avoid these comebacks. You can log on to gates.com slash auto training. And there's a whole array of training and technical materials there. I actually went on to the performance center and logged on and took an accessory drive belt systems course. Now I'm an expert in accessory drive belt systems and you can be too. Thanks for watching.